what God is preparing for you. Amen. I like you to lift up your voice and thank him for his good thoughts and plans. For you, for your family this year, lift up your voice. You are a good God, I thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for your good plans. Thank you for the breakthroughs, for the blessings appointed, for the fulfillment of prophecy, for what you have ordained to come to pass in our lives. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, mighty God. For the good things you have appointed for us this year, for this church, for the winner's family, for our careers, for our destinies, for our children, we give you praise and glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In this anointing service, God will announce your star. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The very door connected to your new door will open by the anointing. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever has been blocking your access to progress, as this anointing comes upon you today, it shall be swallowed up. Amen. Your era of tears is coming to a permanent end. Your era of depression is coming to a permanent end. Amen. By the anointing, you are taking forceful movement today. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, shall be the order of the day in my life. Congratulations and amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and please be seated. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. We are in the last week of the prayer and fasting. My desire for you is that you will not carry last. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Every energy you need to make this year work for you, give it all it takes in this fasting. And I believe God that you will love the best laugh amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And like I will always say, please, in all our prayer sessions, individually and personally, Let's pray for Nigeria. Let's pray for the country. Let's pray for Nasarawa State. Let's pray for Lafia. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. No nations prosper through war. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Uh, if there is kitty kitty, service won't take place. Everybody will be taking cover. Praise God. <laughs> so let's endeavor to pray for this nation. In Jesus' mighty name. God will always frustrate the plans of the wicked. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. No matter what they have crafted or called an agenda, it cannot stand. Amen. Scripture says, the Lord of hosts has proposed and who shall disannul? <laughs> he says, his hand is stretched out and who shall turn it back? So, God still has the upper hand. Are you know what I'm saying now? Uh -huh. And if any personality is trying to frustrate his agenda, 
he will just collect his bread. Pew. Straight. We just collect the bread. Empty box. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Praise God. Still in our series of teaching for this fasting and prayer and maximizing the blessedness of fasting and prayer, our focus this morning is assessing guidance through fasting and prayer. Assessing guidance through fasting and prayer. Every promise of the scripture that must be fulfilled requires a process. And guidance is the process to a destination. If you are not guided, you can never get to your destination. Every destiny is targeted to be brought to a particular destination. And guidance and direction is the pathway to your destination. For I know the plan that I think towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you a future, a hope, and an expected end. Where? You must be directed if you must reach that expected end. You must be guided if you must reach that expected end. But you must agree with me that your desire for guidance is what fuels your passion for prayer to be guided. Your desire for guidance is what fuels your passion for prayer to be guided. Why? There are many valleys. There are many traps everywhere. You have made several mistakes. You cannot keep on repeating many mistakes. Too many errors cannot be converted to a right. You must be guided. And I've discovered <laughs> until you have failed enough you will not seek to be guided. Until you have failed enough and time is passing you by, you will not seek to be guided. There is one element in man called stubbornness. I'm a man of myself. You, you can't tell me what I will do. Who are you to guide me? But scripture said, it is not a man to direct his steps. It is not a man. That should be in um, Jeremiah chapter 10, I think verse 23. Jeremiah 10. I don't have it. So I must seek God for it. Yes. Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in him, self. It is not a man to, that walketh to direct his steps. You have had new dawn. Do you know where it will lead you to? Do you know where it will bring you to? So it is not a man to direct. You can't guide yourself. When there are many pitfalls arranged by the wicked, when there are many traps arranged by the wicked, just to make sure that life goes off course, you must be passionate for guidance. Man is a man of ways. There are ways of destruction, ways of stagnation, ways of delay, ways of limitation, 
ways of frustration. As scripture said, <laughs> there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. He seemed right. He seemed right. There is a way that seemeth right. What you claim to be right, put it side by side with scripture to confirm whether it is right. There is a way that seemeth right. But the end thereof. The end product of every man's way is a low way. Low way. The ways of God are the high ways of life. That's why I say my ways are not your ways. Neither my thoughts your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. My ways are not your ways. Neither my thought your thoughts. If you must get to where I have in mind for you, you must follow my way, not your way. So guidance is the pathway to distinction in business, in marriage, in career, for the future, for his purpose and plan for us for the year. If you are not guided, you can't be distinguished. In ministry, if you are not guided, you can't be distinguished. Having the anointing is not a guarantee to flourish. In fact, you can even get, carry the anointing and get more confused. You don't know? Ah, we have seen plenty. So but the moment they are anointed, you dare not talk to them. Oh. You are anointed, I'm anointed. You prophesy, I prophesy. Confusion. Everything in life has principles. Principles. The guidance is what now brings you to following the principles. I won't forget one deacon that uh, confronted me in one of my sessions. You are anointed, I'm anointed. You are ordained, I'm ordained. They all left him. Huh? Even in the witchcraft world, there is hierarchy. There is sergeant, there is corporal, there is constable, there is last corporal, there is major. You know, no. So I just left him. But by the time his eyes was now clear, he now came and was rolling on the floor and was saying, it was devil. It was no longer the anointing. <laughs> if God must guide you, then you must be spiritual. Spirits only relate to spirits. And since you are born of the Spirit, what fasting is helping us to do is to fine-tune our spirit man to hear, thou say the Lord, this is the way, walk here in it. There are too many noise, too many opinions, too many wrong counselors, too many manipulators. In Psalm 1 and verse 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Verse 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law does he meditate day and night. Blessed. So guidance brings counsel. B guidance brings what? Blessings. Who counsels you determine where you will reach. 
You hear me? You will behave like the person you listen to every time. You can only fake it now. If you keep hearing someone and you are acting the person's script, you will, be, you will end up where the person ends. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Guidance look cheap, but very costly. When God's voice is secondary, you will not end up well. When men's opinion dominates you, they have given you direction. They have given you direction. They have given you influence. How much more at the beginning of the year, instead of seeking God's counsel, seeking God's direction, seeking to know what he wants to bring to pass in your life, you are subscribing to man's manipulation. When I called, you did not listen. When you also will call, I will not hear. Proverbs chapter 1 from verse 23. You can read that one later. So fasting and prayer helps us to fine tune. There are 14 things that speaks to a man. His environment. His circumstances. His challenges. The opinions of people, himself, his desire. There are many. I can't mention all of them. But in the process of fasting, we begin to filter. Say with me, filter. filter. Noise from voice. We filter the noise from what? The voice. We filter the noise from the voice. My sheep heareth my voice. The voice of a stranger, they will not follow. In every church, there are sheep and there are goats. Goats will never take correction. You can't tell God to remain here, I will remain here. You always want to go to where he wants. Am I saying the truth? In every church, there are sheep and there are goats. You can't give a goat correction and he will stick to it. In church, there are people you can't give correction. If your pastor can correct you, the Holy Spirit cannot speak to you. There are some people who say, don't do this. That's why you tell them, don't do. They will say, I will do it. I will see what you will do. I want to tell you, it is risky for anyone not to be guided. That is why direction, guidance, is a choice of the wise. Even God himself said, the meek will he guide in judgment, not the proud. The meek will he guide in judgment and the meek will he teach his ways. Now hear me. Only people that listen to your instruction, you can reveal your secrets. If I give you instruction and you act contrary, tactically I will withdraw. You know something, now go and exhibit that thing. I learned something from Reverend Simeon Afolabi, one of Papa's first driver as a master's degree holder. He said, before your master don't behave as you know anything so that you can learn everything. 
If you prove to him that you know something, he will never show you anything. Master's degree holder, but he was a driver. He was the one that started the Rajioba Church. Living faith. He was the one that named the Winner's Chapel. All we have been bearing before is Winner, uh, Living Faith Church. It was when he got to Lagos, that was when they started Winner's Chapel. He said, behave as if you don't know anything so that you can learn everything. So that you can be guided. But whether you like it or not, every guidance from God, he will use men. He, he will allow you to build up spiritually, but he will also be using men to guide you. Hey, do it like this. Do it this way. Do it this way. Hear this? You can't be hearing the wrong person, the wrong people, and end up in the right place. What the Holy Ghost does to us through fasting and prayer is to enable us to recognize his voice. You know when the spirit of God is speaking and you know when a lying spirit is talking. He wants us to recognize his voice. The spirit of God beareth witness with our spirit that we are the sons of God. So you can't be led by the spirit and be left behind. No! No! You can't be behind. So it is guidance that makes great. If the, great, if the year will be great for you, you must be guided. If the year must be great for you, you must be guided. Good things don't come to you in the wrong place. They only come to you when you follow God's guidance. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leaded me beside still waters. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You must be able to disconnect your feeling from his leading. You can be led by your feeling. And you will think you are right. When you are led by feeling, <laughs> feeling is temporal. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, feeling is temporal. It will get to a point your feeling is exhausted. You will now say, ah, what am I doing here? You have now come to your senses that you were not led. It was only your feeling that was moving you. You can also be led by your emotion. But later you will discover that you are not emotion. My son, pay attention to my word. He cried their ears unto my saying. Lay not your heart depart from them to the left or to the right, for they are life unto thee and health unto thy whole flesh. I want you to know this. A carnal man cannot catch the things of the Spirit. No matter how much the Spirit wants to reveal things to you, you must first of all be spiritual. You must first of all be spiritual. And fasting process our spirituality. 
That's why people that are in fasting, that are playing anyhow, listening to all manner, you will get polluted. Should I shock you? Your mind needs to be prepared to hear God. When rubbish thoughts begin to dominate your mind, how can you not hear God? When your mind is beclouded with all manner of thoughts, this one say, this one say, this one say, this one say, see this, see, see this person like this. How can you hear God? You can't. Because you are hearing what you like. You are hearing what you like. What you like is what you will hear. What, whatever you like is what you'll be hearing. I've discovered that about life. The thing you like to hear, you'll be hearing it. If you like to hear gossip, these 21 days, you'll be hearing plenty gossip. Have you heard the letters about that dickiness? Have, have you heard the letters about uh, State Pastor? You have not heard? Come, let me show you. Come, let me show you. You will hear. Do you know if you want to hear plenty evil about me now, you will hear. Satan will just connect you to the people that will make you hear. You will hear. If you want to hear evil about Papa now, you will be networked spiritually to people that will show you evil about Papa. Oh, you don't know? There are plenty of them now. Should be one has given Satan has given one an assignment on Facebook. Every day they say, My audience, don't follow them or they are deceiving you. They are deceiving you. He's the richest man in the world. He's just using you. Papa does not need you to be rich. He doesn't need your offering to be rich. He doesn't need your tithe to be rich. Papa is one of the most dangerous investors in this world. I know what I'm telling you. So pocket your tithe. Pocket your wretched offering and see whether it will go poor. Tell them I said so. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Your offering only changes you. It doesn't change. It doesn't change Papa. Some people go and be typing. Tell them. Let them hear. Moo moo. <laughs> my sheep hear it, my voice. The voice of a stranger they will not follow. They will not follow. So you need to be spiritual to hear what he said. Now hear me. There is what I call a divine sensor. That sensor is in everybody seated here now. If you are misbehaving, the Spirit of God will be telling you, you are going off course. True or false? You call it conscience. But we call it divine policeman of that fan. Sorry, I won't scatter my paper. All this cool where they catch you, they catch you. Praise God. Don't be distracted. Don't mind them. We call it divine policeman. No wonder anytime you are following a wrong course, going the wrong direction, you are always gripped with fear. Let nobody see me. Let nobody know it. You are not guided. You can't be guided and be walking in fear. It's a lie. You can't be guided and be trying to cover up things. It's a lie. God is not with you in that thing. Hear me? If you lack guidance, you will be limited. You will suffer limitations in life. Paul said, for we know in parts, and we understand parts. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? 
There's nothing you are doing that somebody doesn't know you. There's nothing you are doing that somebody cannot do more. No one that scripture us in a mode of cancer and safety. Lack of guidance is a limiting to place. It's a lesson to blessing. The Lord is my shepherd. I shot one. He led me beside you. What do you not know that to open you this year and things will open up? The lack of decision on how you can we can read you in. There are people you must meet for your destiny to open up. Ah, if you are not guided, how will you meet them? <laughs> After this anointing is called upon you this day, you shall meet two men on the way. Yeah. It's in the Bible. You shall meet two men on the way, and they shall salute thee, and they shall give thee two loaf. So the anointing determines who he meets. And the anointing is our divine guider. The Holy Ghost is our guider. He shall guide you. He shall teach you. So the best thing that can happen to you, anytime you are guided, you get to your right place. Meeting your right people at the right time. Right place, right people, right time. Something down on me this morning. I was somewhere before. I was somewhere before. I was working with a pastor. When I looked at what was going on, the Holy Ghost told me, you are not in the right place. You are not in the right place. You are not in the right place. Why? I was seeing manipulation. I was seeing manipulation. How do I know? Then say, then say, then say, then say, my pastor was influenced by them. Say, them say, them say, this one will come. The Holy Ghost started dealing with me. You are in the wrong place. You are in the wrong place. And I knew that if I remain there, no matter how glorious my destiny is, I will become a local champion. If I had remained there, the people that will add value to me, I will never meet them again. The people that will connect me to my greatness, I will never meet them again. So I walked to him this one morning and said, I want to go. What have I done? Have I offended you? I have offended you. I said, no, I feel like going. I feel like going. Before you know what's happening, I don't take off. He carried me to pursue me. Do you know what's happening? I was literally serving him. Wash his clothes, wash his pants, everything. I young. I was a one man riot squad. But I knew that my destiny will not survive greatness if I don't pull out. If I had not pulled out, I would not have had the opportunity of meeting. They will be only one to one. I wouldn't have had the opportunity of meeting Paul one to one and collect impartation. I wouldn't have had the opportunity of meeting Apostle Suleiman one to one and collect impartation. I wouldn't have had the opportunity of meeting Bishop one to one and collect impartation. I wouldn't have had the opportunity of one to one and sit down with Papa and he's talking to me one to one. Who you meet determine where you end. And you need to be directed. So that you will meet your right people. And God cannot guide you as long as you stay connected to wrong people. So, stay, stay. Just stay, just stay. Your destiny will suffer so delay without direction. You, you are the one delay yourself. Because as long as you keep connection with wrong people, the Holy Ghost leaves you. He knows how to bring you in connection with the right people. And things will begin to work. Can you now see the reason why many people are struggling in life? 
They are not struggling because the witch is strong or because the environment is tough. Who you meet is all body. And direction determines who he meets. Scripture says, when Saul came in the company of the prophets, he went to his high places. Why? He met people that gave him direction, guidance. Guidance. When did Idiomi start ministry? Idiomi finished Bible school in 1996. He started ministry in 1997. I know Pastor Sonny Cookie when I left second school. Pastor Sonny Cookie. I know when he started ministry. In fact, when he started ministry, he came to our house in Borokri, in Takot, to see my sister that they should join him in prayer. He started ministry before he built me. Now he's calling me Biomi Pa. Daddy. Do you know what? He built me quickly connected to someone that will guide him. When you are guided, you become a high flyer, not a crawler. So, guidance is not that uh, someone is trying to reduce you or pocket you, it's a lie. There are things you have seen which your eyes have not seen, and you want to tread apart and they are treading. How will you know what's are waiting for you? How will you know a conscience has been taken against you? Do you know when you are guided? There are some decisions you can't take alone. Yes. There are some decisions you can't take alone. There are some decisions. I look and say, I say, look, sir, this is what is going on now. What do I do? Pause. Take your stand on this. If you ever want to fall, let it fall. Say, Pastor, you are wicked. I never hear her today. I don't hear her since. <laughs> but you can't fracture my destiny. I've been hearing it before. Lack of direction or guidance can increase your confusion and frustration. Do you know? When you are not guided, people's opinion looks correct. It looks clean. It increase your confusion. Do you know why some sisters keep praying when it comes to uh, guidance? They are afraid whether God will say, whether God will change their mind. Something I've been waiting for is. I need a pill. Let's go and meet Pastor. For what? Pastor, go, go, go see one thing. You know, they always see one thing. <laughs> Every time they go, they see something, see something. Now, how will you, as a sister, five brothers say they want to marry you and you like of them? You've been winch. How can you like all of them? You are a liar. Come on. So you now have a first one. I know the funniest thing. They will try to like play smart. Do you, you, you understand what I'm saying now? They, they know this person will call them. They collect the money. Collect the charge card. Collect the phone. Collect the iPad. This one said, we're taking you out. No, 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 don't call that time, don't call that time, don't call that time. I have lecture. I have lecture. Which lecture? You may lie. Do you know what he's trying to do? So that this one will not know we are in go. The phone will ring. You will busy the call. You will read again, you will be sick. The next time, I'm with my mom, I'm with my mom. <laughs> if he doesn't use my mom, he'll say, I'm with Pastor, I'm with Paul. <laughs> oh my God. Hear me? You are increasing your frustration. 
I'm the one telling you. I don't know why that one even came up now. Somebody is a victim of what I'm saying. <laughs> I speak by the Spirit of God and I line out on this altar. Somebody is a victim here. Yeah. What I'm talking about now. The only way you can be bailed at, Holy Ghost, the one that is not it, send him away. Kill the passion. Simple. The one that is it, God increase the passion. You go see the thing with your work. But Pastor, this one doesn't have car now. This one doesn't have car. Now car you won't marry. <laughs> or the marriage must start with car. What if you ask her now? And tomorrow you are trekking. Or you answer me. Since now you they see past God. You know they know more than God though. They know more than God. Any person that refuse guidance knows more than God. Knows more than God. But you go and say, son, you are done the wait for sins. You come and tell me. No go, Pastor go you just see something now, go cancel everything. That's how one sister of former. She kept on dribbling us. She was dribbling me, dribbling Pastor Labi. Because me and Pastor Labi were living side by side in Asabayan. Was dribbling us, dribbling us, dribbling us. We never saw the brother. I was transferred, Pastor Labi was transferred. Then go marry. After they marry, come and see boxing ring. He give her one black eye. Boo! He said, Pastor Tony, you want to kill me, oh? I said, man, kill you, eh? Since you don't agree here, my own, you go, here, yeah, your own. <laughs> he said, one comes for your house. No, come, oh, stay there. If you don't hear God or hear your pastor, you must hear that one. Just be hearing, or be hearing. Be hearing. Anyone you want to hear, be hearing. That's how she ran away from the house and went to stay in this place before she would come back. The guy had packed everything. And I'm seeing him as a pastor in this place. Did they we see Jamim in Goshe? Or Kenan land? His work is finished. Because I will tell them that this guy is a, is a monster. I saw him in Goshen one day. Before I would come out, he has disappeared. <laughs> yes, last year. So I now asked reception. I saw somebody call and now where's the person? Say he has given away. He knows I'm looking for him. He's a wanted man. I'm not here to make you get excited. I want to stir up a passion for guidance. Why do you need to be guided? Number one, to escape danger. To escape danger. There are many traps that our eyes cannot see. There are many arrows, diabolic manipulations that our eyes cannot see. God can intentionally exempt you from going a path because evil is in that path. But some people stop on the, they say, Nadia, I won't go. I'll, I'll go there, nothing will happen. I shared a testimony some time ago of John D. Rockefeller when they brought a proposal for him to hide the Titanic. And God told him, no, don't buy. 
Will I say this? Smartness is not equal success. You may be smart, you are not successful. They abused him. Titanic. He said, God said I should not buy. That is, then I told him, even God cannot stop the Titanic. Three months after, Titanic submerged, damaged. He busted into laughter. He called the person that was telling him that even God. Hey, oh, how far? There are some journeys you are not permitted to go. Why? God knows what lies ahead. I remember one, one particular day we just finished. It was a Wednesday service. That was when we were doing only Wednesday and next Sunday. Just finished from the church. Finished rehearsal. I came for rehearsal with my uh, praise worship singers to finish as I was doing 200 meters to my house I had a voice if you embark on that journey you will suffer and I have suffered one before you know that time that kid Abla, there was a big commotion in Lagos everybody took off so when um, the situation died down I was to bring my cousins then back to Lagos before going to school a night preceding that journey, I saw a, a revelation, a dream that uh, all the vehicles I was entering was spoiling. Your pack up, pack up. I was now consoling myself with scripture. Is that we go for you and make the cooker pass straight? <laughs> See, now that's one of the. What I'm saying now is one of the things that the enemy, when God shows you something, can you not be quoting scripture for God? I'm back to the journey in my brass. Look at what happened. After all, uh, the first motor spot went to another one. As we entered another one, immediately before Shagamu, it is oil again. I said, Lord, have mercy. We now Stood by the way, it was a national concord. This is uh, kind of your, this thing, uh, kind of your relax. I was not saying, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. I know I disobeyed you, Lord, have mercy. I will not try it again. I will not try it again. I will not try it again. So the man was coming and I begged him. I said, Where are you stopping? I said, Ojota. Just stop us, Ojota. We don't reach Lagos. <laughs> so the man now carried us. As we drop, I gave him a green day. The last hundred naira that's in my pocket. He said, No, don't go. Take, take book and. Uh. So I, said, well, I just told my cousin, I said, Oh boy, trek. <laughs> trek. <laughs> so when I heard that voice, if you are back on this journey, you will suffer. So as I go home, I lie down. My mother was now asking me, are you not going again? I said, I don't want to suffer again. <laughs> she said, what happened? I said, I heard it as I was coming close. The Holy Ghost said, if you are back on this journey, you will suffer. So when I, I didn't even tell my pastor. I, my plan was immediately, I finished praise worship, uh, finish taking communion, I would just disappear and go and enter his school bus. So, as we finished, my partner that I was doing business with. What are you doing here now? You should have been on your way. I said, didn't hear the message. Some of you are uh, trying to embark on a journey that God is not going with you. Whatever happens to you is your fault. I still have that tape till to, to today. Faith is a persuasion. So I said, take, go and listen. That was what I had. And God has already spoken to me around 2 p.m. So I know once of I again, I don't get my experience before. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Danger. Funny enough, the person I was going to meet was already on his way two days, two days later. No phone call. 
The person I was going to meet in Lagos to collect the money was already on his way. So I would have, I would have suffered on the way. Only God knows what I would have met. So one basic reason why God will guide us is to deliver us from danger. The second reason why God will guide us is to enhance our profits. You can't be guided and suffer losses. I am the one that leadeth thee in the way that thou shouldest go and make profit. And make profit. Hear me? Don't manipulate your way. Allow him to lead the way. Don't manipulate your way. Allow him to lead the way. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leadeth me beside still waters. God can be leading you and you are recording losses. No. He can be leading you and your business is going down. When Abraham had a confrontation with Lot, <laughs> something happened. Lot was very, he gets chuchuko eye. I, the eyes of Lot was drawing like magnets. Abraham said, we are brothers, we don't to fight. If you want to go to the left, I'll go to the right. So Lot chose Sodom. Sodom was like Lagos. Fine, fine buildings. When you enter Lagos in the night, everywhere is shining, 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 shining. Are you what I'm saying now? How much more when you are flying? Who has fight to Lagos in the night? Can you see how the environment is? Oh boy. Everywhere is shining. That was what Lord saw. His eyes was drawing like magnets. He didn't know that destruction was coming for Sodom. Abraham picked a place like Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, I mean uh, Dubai. Dubai was like a desert 14 years ago. The Dubai, everybody, every one of you want to travel to now, it was like a desert. That was exactly what happened to Abraham. And God responded, I am thy exceeding great reward. I will bless you. Before you know what's happening, things started changing. Things started changing. Abraham was blooming. Disaster was coming for Sodom. When you take the wrong step, you suffer losses. You don't make profits. Number three, when God guides, you enjoy speed. Abraham needed a wife, a son, Isaac. And he prayed, O oh Lord God of my master, grant me good speed. Let it be that as I'm going to get a wife for my master's son, I will meet the right person. Let it be that the one that I will meet will give me water to drink and also give the sheep water to drink. Permit me to say this. The well where he met Isaac's wife was not the only well. True or false? How can you say it's only one well in the whole town? It's not possible. But I'm sure he was led by God. And that was how he met uh, Rebecca. Rebecca gave him water to drink. Gave him uh, water for the sheep, And also carried him to his house. Hey, Papa, this is a stranger. So he was coming. I don't know what he's coming to do. So he was in his head, God don't catch you. <laughs> God don't catch you. He was saying, I'm sure in his room, in his room where they kept him, he was saying, Fly, thank you for bringing me to the right place to meet the right person at the right time. Right place, right person, right time. Right place. When you meet your right people at the right time, 
at the right pace. You don't struggle. You are just making progress. And hear this, whether you like it or not, the people you meet determines your speed. The people you meet determines your what? Why you meet the wrong people? You don't, you don't buy slow motion. When you meet wrong people, quote me, I said so. You don't buy slow motion. When you meet wrong people, slow motion enter your life. The next thing why you need divine direction or divine guidance, it brings about divine positioning. Where you are positioned determines who you will meet. When you are positioned in the wrong place, what will happen? You will be meeting the wrong people. You will be having the wrong encounters. I remember a young man, he just finished his service. After he finished his service, some of his friends came and said, let's go um, and relax a little. Guess what happened? Not that he was a drunkard. We were sitting in front of a bar and uh, just relaxing. And uh, whether they call them arm robbers or sars, they just came. He was the only one that was killed. Rock positioning. And he's the only son. Wrong positioning. You know what the enemy plans for you? Is to position you with wrong people. I say it again. Good things don't meet you in the wrong place. Good things don't miss you in the wrong place. What will, why do you need guidance again? Every time you are guided, you enjoy rest from trouble. Rest. The lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Rest from trouble. When you are on the wrong path, the only thing you meet is stress. But when you are on the right path, you meet peace. Meet rest. Rest round about. Rest. There is no peace for the wicked. Says God, not pastor. Do you know why the peace, the, the wicked, do not have peace? He's doing the wrong thing. So if there is anything you need this year, just like no one of us knows the contents of new dawn, it is his guidance that will be unfolding them one after the other. You hear me? God doesn't speak to you once and for all. They to the utter speech. Night unto night, sure knowledge. God will be guiding you by time and by time. Uh, let's read this scripture. Psalm 32 and verse 8. I'll instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eyes. Is that in your Bible? I will guide thee. I will guide thee. I will instruct thee and I will teach thee. I will guide thee in the way that you should go. I will instruct thee. How can God guide you if he can't instruct you? I will instruct thee. And you know instruction comes from time to time. From time to time. Every time an instruction comes, it moves us forward. Now we are going to be receiving plenty of instructions from God as he's revealed to Papa. It's not everybody will comply. My own is just to come for a first service or my own is just to come for a second service and go my way. You will, you will remain in your way. Not in his way. You remain in your way. Instruction is the highway to distinction. Now let me summarize as we rise up to pray. There are plenty drivers but few pilots. Pilots fly by instruction. Plenty drivers does not need to go to driving school. Am I saying the truth? You can just wake up one morning and carry him to say, this is not brake, this is not throttle, this is not gear. You don't have a road. True or false? 
There are some drivers that will be misbehaving on the way. Say, you need a thing. You need to see me. You need to see me. But you can't try that in the air. Even if a plane wants to move from the tarmac, you must receive a signal. Don't move. The flight is landing from Abuja. Wait for the next 11 minutes. He will wait there. Who are you to tell me? In the fly, me are they fly? If you go like this, I go like this. <laughs> you can't try it. They fly by instruction. <laughs> you fly, I fly. So how can you tell me I should wait? Wait or what? What do you hold? Not be play or not be play? Can, can you now see? You need a motor. Stop, 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 stop. You need to see. You need to see me as they come. You two stop. Plenty drivers, few pilots. You can't fly high in life without instruction. Deuteronomy 28, and we rise up to pray. Verse 1 only. That come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Rise up to your feet. You are going to pray, Lord, anything that is making me walk in pride. Every element of stubbornness. Whatever makes me feel that I have known something. Hear me, I'm your pastor. I'm still learning. No? I'm still learning. I ask plenty questions. Because I cannot reach this level and crash. I ask plenty questions. That's why from time to time, I run to and meet my mentors. What's new thing am I supposed to be doing? Which new thing do I need to do now in this year? What has God show you? Because they today hear God. Anytime I go to Bishop Abiyo every month, I must learn one new thing. Either I'm copying or I'm using my phone to be typing it. But some people, in the young kingdom, me are the young kingdom. But hear me, they're meek will guide in judgment and the meek will lead each his ways. Lord, lead me. This year, guide me. It is not man to direct his steps. Lord, I don't want to miss my way this year. I want to be in the path of progress, on the path of sin, meeting the right people, having the right experience. I want speed of accomplishment. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I've been frustrated enough I don't want to see another frustration again. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Where's the one for people? I put it in the first. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Lord, lead me. This year, I submit to your leading. This year, I submit to your guidance. I submit to divine instruction. Lord, guide me. Whatever is making me walk by myself, do things by myself, Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me. Please pray after me so that you can be correct. Pray after me. Whatever is making me to act stubbornly, whatever is making me to walk in pride, make me feel that I know what I'm doing, Lord, have mercy on me. Guide me this year, 28. Guide me on the path of progress. Guide me on the path of success. Guide me on the path of progress. Have mercy on me. I submit to your leading Holy Spirit. I submit to your leading. I submit to your guidance. I submit to your leading. I submit to your guidance. 
Every wrong step I've taken, Holy Ghost, have mercy on me. Every wrong step I've taken, Spirit of God, have mercy on me. Lift up your voice and pray. Every wrong step I've taken, Lord, have mercy on me. Every wrong step that has increased my frustration, that has increased stagnation, that has increased lack, Lord, have mercy on me. I ask for your mercy. Have mercy on me, Lord. I need your guidance. The people you are leading, they are shining. The people you are leading, they are breaking forth. The people you are leading, they are making progress. The people you are leading, they are not stagnated. Lord, I need your guidance. 2018, I will not take any wrong step. 2018, I will not go the wrong way. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord. Le robo shikte lo ziganare ora. Zekla be bredi adata. Narude ne jula gabradi zozea. Le anke te liga bragado shanande. Rezo zakle ke te riga tola. Rezo na bredi toli angaladash. Zekoleke liga bara bada gada 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 gada. Lirondo sune bele rusha dayata. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, mighty name. We have prayed. These people are running when I did send them. <laughs> when you go, when God didn't say go, he won't go with you. Do you know what? Where God leads, that's where the heavens open. But if you go where he didn't lead, you will suffer close heaven. And you will, hear, you will experience close, you will have what we call close attack. The enemy will be attacking you closely because you are in the place where he didn't go with you. So his presence will not go with you. As this oil come upon you, one major thing I know that we answer for you, you will begin to meet your right people. Before we pray that prayer, because that's the next prayer we're going to pray, that scripture said, after you are anointed today, you will meet two men on the way. And they shall salute thee. And they shall put two loaves. They will be carrying three and put two loaves. Which means guidance bring favor. Huh? Unrestrainable favor. It brings unreservable blessings. All eyes closed. All heads bow. Satan cannot tell you, give your life to Christ. He can't encourage you. That will let you know that for you to be saved, you must hear the voice of God. You want to be born again, which is the greatest need for every man. Wherever you are, inside and outside, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer for me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious Lord. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, wherever you are, come right now to pray with me. Wherever you are, just come right now. You don't need to be afraid. God bless you. God bless you. Come. Come, come. The only way out of your frustration is to submit to the one and these people. If you are coming, come quickly. God bless you. 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 Lord Jesus, unto them that come unto you, shall you in no wise cast out. They've accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior. As I put this oil upon you today, every cause and hold of the wicked, they are destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 It shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name. So let them remain here first. 
Something happened last year. One of my sons gave me a gift. BMW Z35 series. Three. I wanted to drive to Abuja to go and uh, see Bishop so I can pray on the car. He said, come here back. And I called him back. He said, don't come. I wanted to ask why. My spirit said, shut up. I was excited to go and show him the car. He said, don't come. Go and get the car key. Call me back. Let me bless it. I don't know what instruction or what something he received and said, don't come. But I had to receive it with gladness because he's not thinking for me for evil. Or he's not angry that I've got in another car. No. As we finished praying, I said, okay, the gift I wanted to give to him, I just have to go and send it. If you talk to some people, why in the verse now? Maybe no happy say I don't buy a car. Maybe no happy say I don't buy. It's a lie. Your father can't be angry that you are prospering. Maybe they do bigger for me. What kind of car has he not seen? Ask me. We are going to pray. Lord, has this anointing come upon me? My right people. Did they call you? <laughs> the people that matter to my new dawn this year. Holy Ghost, move them away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, you meet two men on, on the way, and they shall salute you, and they shall give you two loaf opportunity. We are going to pray. The people that matter to my new dawn this year, Lord, direct my step. Connect me to them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't want to struggle this year. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of heart. The people that matter to my new dawn. Oh yeah, move the oil. Le robo chico se cotalia. Reza nakato. Likatel. Jesuze likatal. The people that matter to my new dawn. This year 2018. Holy Ghost, guide me. Bring me in contact. Direct me, connect me to the people that matter to my new door. Connect me to opportunities. Guide me to where my breakthrough will meet me. Lead me to where my breakthrough will meet me. Le rianga de ezunu tekola, lezo so iko kekro, deke ero pere tu sata, de na shekute le riaba, lambe de de ruzu zune kute. Guide my path, lead me. In the way that I should go and make profits. By your guidance, advance my life. Advance my destiny. Advance my family. Advance living faith church love By your guidance. Nesuda, Shukatane. Zekatoya baba la baba la baba Zekoteke rikoteke riketeke Renato liko zekoteko leka zaka kaka kaka yaka Lead me Lord I submit to your lead Bring me in contact 
to my dream makers, to my destiny helpers, 